the what could have been for your college teammate Greg Oden. I just want to give you the the floor on that. How good he was and what what uh, could have been with him. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, man, uh, you, I, I probably think about it more than anybody, but it, it was um, just such an opportunity to be a, around a guy like that and see, um, you know, somebody who has so much potential and in a league that has changed so much, I think he would have adapted really well throughout his career. I think he'd still be playing um, at a very high level because of his athleticism, his ability to, you know, finish and, and soft touch with both hands. And uh, he was a team guy and, and you don't find too many of those bigs that can do all those things. And um, just wish that he would have had that opportunity and stayed healthy enough because, you know, when he was healthy, he was a force and uh, there'd be a lot, you know, who knows, the, the history books might be, you know, rewritten a little bit and he could have been a part of some, some great teams. How did a guy from Indianapolis wind up there? How did that happen for you? Oh man. Um, honestly, we, uh, it was our last college visit. You know, I had, I had visited Wake Forest right before that, like a week before. And I was like, yeah, I'm committing to Wake Forest. I'm gone. Like, there's no question. And, uh, my dad was like, man, just take one more visit you and Greg and, you know, Daquan Cook's already there. You should go visit Ohio State just to do it. You you and Thad might have a great relationship. So I was like, all right, I'll just go just to go. Um, I went there. We went to a, a Saturday night football game. They played Texas. I think it was Vince Young or yeah, who was quarterback at the time, but massive game. I saw all those fans and people and, like, the, the city just shut down. I was like, man, this is a college. Like, this is crazy. So, like, I just – from that point, I was like, I, I want to come – I want to be a, a Buckeye and experience this every uh, every weekend and um, and make this basketball program something special. Okay. I hear you. So, you do follow college football then, right, Mike? You, you follow I college football? I do. I do. Okay. I do. Has anybody made you aware of where I went to school prior to this uh, conversation? Mike, I hope it's not the school I'm thinking of. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could Sorry, say Mike. the word, Mike. You could say the word. You could. I, say... I really can't. Come on. I I I can let you say the word, but I I, I have yes, an idea can. of where you went you to can. school. Now, you know? listen. The the first letter in the city <laughs> that you wear frequently, sometimes on the chest. You can say the letter M when you're talking. What are you? It's not the. Minnesota Timberwolves. When you mention it to other people, like what team do you play for? Or oh, I play it, for the X in Minnesota Timberwolves. Really? I just say I just say I play for the Wolves. I don't even say I don't even. Oh, the I, Wolves. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, that's wolves. close. So you can say the word even Wolves. You can <laughs> yeah, start I can with say the wolf, wolf, wolf. I know? can't even finish it though. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> can't do that. I mean, you're not Ike Conley Jr., right? You <laughs> when you sign your checks. I, I am. It depends on the conversation. Right now, that that doesn't. Uh, I'm Ike Conley. I'm an Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves. Like I'm all that. Oh, uh, funny. All right, Mike. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.